Okay, so we're going to do a lesson on composing more shapes. And it says, how can you combine two dimensional shapes, two dimensional shapes or flat shapes, to, mo to make new shapes? So down here it says that it wants us to, on this first, on this one right here, this first one on the left, to use two shapes. So we want to try to find two shapes in this little picture right here. So we want to try to find two shapes. Notice how there's no curved lines in this shape. These are all straight lines. That means that my shapes that I try to find in this little picture have to have straight lines. I would not see a circle in this because a circle has curved sides. And this little picture, this little outline has straight sides. So which two shapes can I see? Well, if I take a line and I draw it just like this across, I now see two different shapes. I see, let's see, I see a triangle right here. And I see a square right here. So I, out of this little picture, I made two shapes. I made a triangle and I made a square. Um, let's see, just by drawing this one simple line right here across the middle. Let's look at this one. It wants us to find three, it wants us to find three shapes in this picture. This picture right here on the right. This kind of looks like a house to me. Notice how it has all straight lines. No curved lines. So I'm not going to be able to find a picture a circle in this picture the shapes that I see will have to be um, shapes with straight sides so I can take a line and I can draw it across right here notice how now I have two shapes I have a rectangle and I have a triangle on top I'm going to draw this line right here and now I've made three shapes I've made three shapes so let me point them out to you I have a triangle at the top, all straight sides. I have a square right here. And now I have a rectangle. So I have three different shapes I was able to pick out of this little picture, this little picture that looked kind of like a house. Um, all right, so what I wanna do is turn to this page, your model and draw. I want to talk about this page for a second. Let's see, let me turn my own page. All right, so look at the two rectangles right here, this one and this one. They are the same size. Now, I can combine these rectangles to make a new shape. So look at what they did. They took them and they put them together and they made a new shape. Now they have a square. Or they took a rectangle or one rectangle and they turned it sideways and they have a new shape. It looks kind of like an L. What's another way that we could use these two rectangles? What if I did, I could put maybe one up here. I use those to make a different shape. Or, and I guess really it should, they really don't want us to have it, it kind of looks like that. What if I put them both long? Try to draw a dash line. So there's lots of different ways that we could combine these shapes to make new shapes. All right, so let's look. It says to share and share. Circle two shapes that combine to make the shape on the left. So look at number one. Number one's a circle. Notice how it's got curved lines. It doesn't have any straight lines. This only has straight lines. I couldn't use this shape, this rectangle, to make a circle. 
I would have to use two half circles. I'd have to use this one and this one. And if I combined those two together, if I combined them together, I'd have a circle. Just like my picture on number one. All right, look at number two. What two shapes can we use to combine to make our rectangle? Well, I see that on the triangle, it's got a slanted side right there, and I don't see that anywhere on my rectangle shape. They all have straight lines, but if I were to take this square, this one right here, and turn it like this, and push them together, I could probably make this shape. If I were to take this rectangle and kind of draw it in half, look how I have two squares. So I could use this shape and this shape to make my rectangle. All right, look at number three. Look at number three. This is kind of an odd shape. So I see some curved lines and then I see some straight lines. And I see another curved line and I see a straight line. So I need a shape that has similar characteristics to this. And if I were to take this shape right here and I were to turn it and maybe make it more like this size right here, this direction. I can see how I could slide this piece right here into right here. Look how this one is the same as that. And if I were to take this shape and kind of flip it, it might fit right here. So I see these little quarter circle things, and I'm thinking that I could probably turn them to make them fit this shape. So I think I'm going to use this shape and this shape to make that shape. All right, so let's keep looking. It tells us to circle two shapes that combine to make the picture on the left. All right, so look at this one number four. I see some curved lines and then I see some straight lines. So I know I have to have a shape that has a curved line. This has a curved line. That would probably have to go right here. Have to go right there. Well, now look at the ones at the bottom. We have a square to choose from and a rectangle. This rectangle looks too big or this spot right here. This is a square down here. So I would need this one to make that shape. Look at number five. This shape has all straight lines. It comes to a point right there. I know that this shape has curved lines. It There's this one's out. There's no curved lines in number five. I can see a triangle right here. That's this one, so I know I need this one. And I see a square right here. That's this one, so I know I need this one. All right, numbers, oh, this is math on the spot. If you haven't watched it, I want you to pause and go watch that video and then come back to my video. It tells us to draw lines to show two different ways to combine the shapes on the left to make a new shape on the right. Draw lines. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I have a rectangle and two squares. A rectangle and two squares. I know that there's a square. I see a square there. And if I were to go up, I see a square here. And then now I see my rectangle. Well, let's do the same thing again. So I need a square. Here's a square. If I go up. And here's another square. 
and then here's a rectangle. Let's look at this one. This one's a little bit trickier. So I have two squares and I have two triangles. Well, I can draw a square here. And I can draw another square here. And here's a third square. But what if I do this? What if I take my square and I kind of divide it in half? I now have two triangles. So I have two squares and two triangles. You can kind of do the same thing with this one. So I could have a square here and I could have a square here and then I could have two triangles if I just draw a line like this. So I have two squares, two triangles. All right. Remember to pause if you need to. Let's look at number eight. Which shapes can combine to make a circle? Well, automatically we know I don't need a square to make a circle because it has no straight lines. A circle has no straight lines. It's only curved lines. So I know this one's completely out. Now I have a quarter of a circle and a quarter of a circle. Think of this like a pie or a pizza. If I only had it, if I had it like this, I'd have two halves. And if I had it like this, I'd have four pieces. This is only two of those pieces. Uh, so this would not make a full circle. I need, let's see, I need these two shapes to make a full circle. So this is what I could put together to make this circle shape. Alana builds this shape. Esther takes this shape apart. She uses the same blocks. Which new shape could Esther build? So let's look. I see I have one, two, three, four, five, six triangles. So I have six triangles. And I have a shape in here. This shape has one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have a hexagon. I learned that the other day. Hexagon. So I have one hexagon and six triangles. So I need to find one of the, my choices down here. This has six triangles, but there's no hexagon. So this is out. This has six triangles, but it has a square. And I didn't use any squares. So this is out. I have six triangles and a hexagon. That means this is my correct choice. Number 10, which shapes can combine to make this new shape? All right, well, this has a curved line, so I know this one's out. Um, let's see. If I were to take it and go like this, I could see a quarter of a circle right here, and I see a triangle. So I have these two shapes. This is a whole half circle, whole half circle. I didn't use a half circle. I only used like a little quarter of a circle. This one has a quarter of a circle, and it has a triangle. I think I could use this one to make this shape right here. All right, I want you to do your yellow homework page front and back and submit to Google Classroom.